Couldn't fucking do that right. Jesus Christ. All right. Okay, here we are. It's uh, the Big Friday of Big Fridays. Um, what have we got? Welcome, viewer. Friday, 4th of October, which just so happens to be my birthday. And this is the Big Friday before the Welsh Open, 2019. With me is Jordan Sikars, who is recovering from a flu. What's happening? Oh, here we can see Janine. All on one platform, we've got uh, Janine, Stephanie and Awen. Sporting the new Willpower singlet. Yeah, available on the soon-to-be new Willpower shop. Stephanie externalising. Owen nailing fucking 66. Uh, Credence Clearwater Revival playing in the background, Midnight Special. Yeah. Now Janine sending over the no signals. Stephanie was 63. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. She had a good open. Um, what did she hit in the open? 66, 78. I think that was PB's. Uh, I went out a good open. She won gold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we are. Close on the 70. She's um, she's lifting as a 59 kilo lifter at the moment. So this is new territory for that body weight. There's young Ben. Not sure of his surname. Gave him a motivational speech. Owen's having a bit of a fucking talk. I'm already pissed, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say, somewhat inebriated. Yeah, fucking been on the gin all day. I don't advise that you uh, younger coaches uh, drink too much gin whilst coaching. Some, but not too much. One of those things. Got to balance it out. That's Stephanie. Oh, that fucking beautiful lift. That uh, is a good example of being uh, staying with the pull positions. The acceleration comes. No, no, she's gone there. In the uh, on on the middle platform, you can see Leon and uh, Tom. I believe his name is. Yep. Great to have some uh, some guests down on Big Friday. Yes, they're very welcome. Always. Yeah. So on this Big Friday, which was the biggest of Big Fridays in, in our illustrious history, um, we uh, decided to have two sessions because we couldn't fit every fucker in. So these are the half, four, quarter, five lifters who were going to be lifting. And then we had the main session or the second session, if you like, at 6, uh, 6 p.m. Here he is with 95 good i think uh, tom's uh, was was wanting to qualify at 229 he was lifting as is that 81 yeah same as johnny is that right johnny and nick yeah, yeah. johnny and nick um, so his his main focus was getting that qualification total um, which he did on did he do it this i think he did yeah he did it uh, on this friday didn't do it on the day just goes to show everybody that when you're lifting in competition, it's a very different uh, sensation prospect than lifting in your fucking gym. Right. So, same athlete, same weight, different outcomes. Um, I, I implore you to... Yeah, you can hear me not, not impressed with him in the background. Should turn that down. Just in case you uh, hear a bit of language that is uh, not appropriate for any of you fuckers out there. <laughs> it's Ben. I like this boy. He snatched 70 kilos at the Welsh as well. Clean joke 88. So two PBs for him. Young lad, learn his fucking trade. Put in the volume, put in the consistency. Tom at 104. Creams it. No. You bish. You get fucking... Three chances in competition. It's not fucking training. That's Liam. Oh, he didn't stand it up, did he? Fuck, here we go. Right. All righty. That is... Yeah. All right. You should be able to stand your fucking snatches up, ladies and gentlemen. 
or binary and non-binary, depending on how you flow. Look at this, look. Makes it nice and balanced. So we can do it. The question he must ask himself is why the fuck is he not doing it? Not easy to answer. It's Janine, now a resident of Reading. Reading. Doing a FUD, which is PhD. <laughs> I think she's doing a FUD in um, in animal masturbation. She's not doing a, a, FUD, a PhD in animal masturbation. <laughs> oh, something like that. I'm not far off. Something like that. Killing rats. No, it's not that. No? Definitely not that. Well, yeah. She did that last year. Fucking, she, you know. Way off. She did death, now she's doing life. 72. You can see how easy he's pulling it. Um, yet to develop the consistency of control. Um, that'll come with time. He stands that fucker up. Look at that. Lovely. Yep. Oh, that was it on bet. Oh no, one more, one more pop. There we go. And he got it. There we are. I the think, uh, yeah, the finger goes, put 75 on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get your next weight on the bar, haven't you? Just uh, before you start fucking wanking yourself off that you fucking had a good night. It's the gin talking. Well, it's not now because I'm sober as fuck. Can I just say that this is Friday, 10.49 a.m. On the 18th of October, 14 days have parted since said gin. So I have definitely sobered up. Seventy-five with the collars. <sighs> And that little fucker, he had it, and then he celebrated, and then he lost his tension, and then he fucked it. That's not good. So he should have made it. So a lot of uh, this um, this time where you're, you're pre-competition, and you can see stuff that you need to rectify, perhaps after competition... Take some advice, coaches. Shut the fuck up. Don't be telling your lifters a week before comp that they're doing this wrong, they're doing that wrong, they're jumping forward, their fucking knees are coming in, or whatever. Shut the fuck up. A confident lifter is, a f is all you need on comp day. You don't need one thinking about their fucking left pinky or their fucking right foot's turned out more than their fucking knee or whatever the fuck. Shut the fuck up. What do you reckon on that, George? No, I agree. Yeah, with you. He's he's with me. He's with me. He's with me. And Not to say really, is it? Because I, uh, you know, I'm just a, a lifter. I agree. You should lift. Uh, you want to lift in confidence. I'm just a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to. You want to go out there and think you can fucking lift the world. About unless it's something really critical, which it generally never is. There's not much you can affect two or three, four weeks out, right? They're in a very specific phase of lifting. You need them confident and moving well. All the other stuff, just write it on your list and, and rectify it over months to come. Yeah, often you'll find as well, if you give a lifter any bit of feedback around this time, they're just going to capitulate and lose their heads before comp. So probably best worth leaving everything until afterwards. When they've got a bit more of a level head. And if uh, Michael Farmer's listening, capitulate means mentally break down. In this instance. Yeah. It's 110 from Liam. I'm not sure what his results were, but I think he, uh, he had some personal records on the day at the competition. I know he PB'd that that night definitely 
Uh, yes, he did. He made, I think he made 125 or 124. He made what he didn't make this night. Uh, Janine had a personal record performance as well at a new body weight, so that was very encouraging. It, it can be difficult to know how much leg you're going to have, how much strength you're going to have on the day when you've transitioned into these new weight categories. If you've been lifting as a, you know, um, uh, like a, a 60, was it 67 was the old one? No, 69, and now you're a 67, or if you're, you know... Um, 85, uh, and now an 81. 81. You just don't know. You're having to move and, and change. And uh, you've got to be patient with the process of retraining your body at a new body weight. That means a new training weight. Um, it means a different outcome. It's doubtful that four kilos, plus or minus, is going to give you the same outcome. So you need to learn what your body's capable of. But then, so does every every other fucker. And some people adapt really well to it, like Owen. Um, and some people it's going to be more challenging for. Nice. No. Oh. I went clean to 88 on a day. To I win lost, gold. To win gold by a kilo. Yeah, yeah. She beat all all challengers that day. From all gyms. Nice joke. Didn't you go down to Ethel and and train uh, not so long ago, Joe? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I, uh, didn't, didn't that young fucking cum stain train with you? He did. He uh, jerked with me. Yeah. Got a PB jerk, I believe, by uh, 10 kilos. All right. That's an interesting uh, personal record. It is. And, uh, I think it, there was initial excitement and then a few questions had to be asked to, uh, to himself. Fucking right. Who are you, for fuck's sake? He's one of them. He's uh, Liam. Ooh. Yeah, you can see he's caught that uh, clean very heavy and forward and took a lot out of himself. He's uh, evidently got to work on uh, becoming more fluid on his jerks. And Tom, that's a solid lift. That was, what, 22? Mm -hmm. Zawin with 90. Just not being close to it. I think she made a very easy 90 uh, earlier in the week, and she would have uh, liked to have made that again on this session. No. He's rushing now his positions. Got to remain patient. I think Stephanie nearly fucking passes out at this point. Yep, there you go. No coming back from that. No, there's not, no. If you do come back for that, then uh, fucking hats off to you. But it's very rare. Let's have a look at uh, Tom here. Look at a lot of heart, these boys. I do yeah, really enjoy good, watching Yeah, good attitudes. Them. There you go. So that would have qualified him. That was 25 and 104 that he made in this training session that he failed to make in competition. Let me just remind him, if he's watching, he failed to make that in competition. Owen's back with uh, 90. Yeah, that's all right. The week out, she made 88 on the day, remember, to win gold. She beat uh, every athlete that she competed against on that day to win gold. No, I must fucking pull the plug on that shit. Now is uh, Ben. Yeah, a kilo more than this uh, at the Welsh. You know, and a big platform for Ben to lift on at the, at the Welsh Open, you know. Uh, young lad lifting in his, his senior event. That's it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big welcome Good to lad. Bruno as well. Uh, just caught in camera there. Yeah, there's uh, Laurent. Uh, 98 kilos in body weight, apparently. I'm not sure I believe that. No. 95, so that was a... Was that a PB? I think yeah. it was. Yeah. And now he put a ton on. Cleans it like it's a fucking empty bar. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful lift. A lot of passion there. Yeah, a lot of passion. And you can see the second wave of lifters starting to come in. Olivia's... Uh, Got a kit on. Janine's doing some squats. There's uh, Charlie Mack there. Nicholas Tiberius Jones. 
Or Sarah. Rick, as some call him. Now, I've not seen Bruno lift in maybe uh, eight months. Um, and naturally, his bar path will have to change because his fucking derby is so large. There's no way he can keep it as close as he used to. There's Joe Cow, George the Moose in the background, Ben Wasley, Tom Jolly. That's a well-known look to us all at Willpower from Tom. Yeah, you will notice, viewer, that this young man cannot power snatch. It's one of my notes that I made on his training records to get him into doing some power snatches. He's rehabbed his fucking broken shoulders over the last two years, so he's done no lifting for two fucking years. Since 2016? Mm. Welsh Open was his last competition, maybe? Yeah. All right? And 100% uh, that fucker cannot power snatch. In fact... He doesn't have any power, to my knowledge. He has speed minus power, which is amazing. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if you could uh, describe his power snatch in one word, what, what would you? What word would you give it? Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sorry, Rick. It is awful. It's a dreadful power snatch. Well, it's a drip. Should we call it speed snatch? Caught above parallel? Because <laughs> it's minus position, it's minus power. Snatch grip to overhead in power. Yeah. George, uh, George had a tough, uh, tough training period. This is George, everyone. He's not on social media, so everything we say is great. You know, George, George's never going to listen to this. Um, George had to cut. How much did he cut? <laughs> 13 kilos? Yeah, fair amount. He's a bit of a heavy lad. Like, computers are 96 in this comp. I mean, it was, let's let's be honest, it was non-contractable mass. Yeah. 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 So it was of no use to him whatsoever. Um, and he lost it. And uh, along with uh, this mass went a lot of strength. And George, uh, George didn't feel quite the same as he did at 100 and fucking, you know, 10 kilos, that's for sure. And I'd have to agree with him. Mentally very difficult to know your fucking legs are not there. Imagine how those fucking Russians feel right now. Yeah. Jesus. Different sort of taper. Poor, in it. There's the uh, Brian Longhorn in the background. He didn't lift at this uh, year's open. He's been, as you can see, there's tape on his elbow. He's been uh, rehabbing his body. His beautiful body. Well, not much we can say to that. Is Joe Cow? He had a fucking good night. He had a very good night, and then he won gold at the Welsh Open, and that's great because that's what it's all about. But um, I have yet to speak to him about his fucking performance, which I am less than impressed with. This is an impressive young man, Charlie Mack. He's been with us for six-ish months. He's gone through a few cycles, addressed a few things. Lift him very well. I'm very excited about his prospects. Tiberius. So far happier with Nick snatching than power snatching. You can see, like, it's early doors for his uh, recovery still um, in terms of how many snatches he's done since rehabbing his two fucking shit shoulders. Um, so it's going to take a little while for the position... Oh, dear. Uh, it's going to take a little while for the position to become comfortable and strong, and you have to be patient. So I was very apprehensive of him lifting too heavy and too much before the comp because, you know, as I say, two years out of lifting, you've got to be very gentle. Let him train on Monday. Is Here's Tom Eaton, Phil's talentless brother. And if you remember Phil Eaton from... Uh, his weightlifting days. I'm not sure what he's doing now. Interior design or something like that. There's George. That's pretty one-paced, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's a bit of speed. Joe's uh, had a groin strain 
the last few months, so training's been light. This was his heaviest session of uh, the last four months, I suppose. Here's Leanne. She's just moved into a new house in Pontley somewhere, up the valleys, for those of you who don't know uh, Wales. And there's uh, Myrian in the background. They're both medical professionals. So if there's ever a catastrophe at Willpower, they're on hand. As are the two doctors that we have. And six nurses. Three, three doctors. Oh yeah, George. George. Yeah, he's not... He's, not, he's, yeah, he's qualified right. now. Correct. Right. Got to get you in there, George. Yeah, that's true. Tom Jolly. Nice and solid. He had a good snatch day, didn't he, at the Welsh Open? Yeah. 10, 15, 18. Three for three. Yeah. It's very good. And Tom Eaton had a very good snatch day as well. And clean and joked 15, missed 20. Got got done by... Uh, one of our own. One of our own, yeah. That's right. No, no fucking bias from the willpower, that's for sure. Charlie Mack with 85. Yeah. So, look, here's things that we'll address uh, for that young man. Like, you can see there's a left rotation. So, I think that's probably coming from his hips. So, we'll look at uh, where he's tight, where he's not tight. I know he's had a back stress, um, you know, last year, year before, uh, before he trained with us. So, we've been making sure that his training is uh, is taking account of that. Um, but that's one of those things that is a long-term thing, to try and get him straightened up. So, it'll be interesting uh, how we approach that. There's Lauren. Lauren Burley, everyone. Jumping in the shot. Uh, Mai's come back from a shoulder, elbow. There's Bruno's elephant derby just poking out under his t-shirt. Tom Eaton. Was, I think this is his top weight this night, 90 kilos. Yeah. So that's when he uh, gets a little bit fucking angry before he starts, loses position off the floor, and then produces that shit. There you go. Look at that. Easy as you like. Almost looks like 105 is like a limit to him. Here's Olivia. Charlie Mack. He snatched 100 today, didn't he? On this day? Yeah. So that's a better... Like, less rotation on that, and you can see he was much faster through extension. That's something I'll be watching carefully. Here's Meg. Now, for those of you who've been uh, watching the last few uh, videos, let's just wait for Ben to... Does he make the... F he, he may miss the first one and make the second one. I have no idea. No. Right. I think I give him a right bollocking at this stage and then he comes back and makes it. That's great. Geordie with 30. Ugh, dear oh lord. Um, anyway, Meg, uh, that was her first competition last weekend. And Olivia's and Sarah's, they all competed for the very first time. So this was their first training cycle. That's a better... There you go. See how easy that is? Look at that. So, don't be a fucking Joey. Keep your positions, keep your rhythm, don't rush it too much. Sarah, 58. She had a good training day this week. Look at that, fucking plop. That's a lady who's going to snatch a lot of weight. Very happy with that. 60, was that 63? No. I'm a little bit tired, viewers. Bruno with uh, 20. Charlie Mack with 95. This is how it was. It was lift for lift. It was fucking, uh, every platform was banging them out. So that's the rotation as it misses. That left-hand side uh, drops down first, so he's uh, maybe his uh, left lats. That would what I would be thinking if he's not complete in the pull. Something along that side. Jordy trying to tidy up his... Uh... How do you feel about that snatch, Jordy? Well, well, you know that this was a difficult period for my snatch. Yeah, I know, but how do you feel about that? What do you think happens when that happens? Oh, it's just uh, shut the fuck up for Nick uh, to make this uh, 100 kilo uh, snatch. Nope. So I don't know what that like focus is on Nick. Uh, it, it, yeah, I think he thinks it's laser like focus. Um, look at that. Easy as you fucking like. Job done. Easy as you like. 65. 
first time. Bruno, fucking beautiful timing. Got round that belly. No. Seven two. No, that's it. Just backing out of that. Charlie, nice. Much better. I think you make this one, George. Yeah. So we've got Joe Cow making a lift, we've got Meg making lifts, fucking platforms are busy. Good. I got animated. Did my piano fingers. There you go. Stays with it. Increases his speed without delivering power. Very excited. No. He makes 30, didn't he? No? I hope not. I think he does. I think he goes 280, didn't he? Yeah, I think uh, he does. And So that's Charlie Mack hitting 100 kilos, which he's not. He's only ever done it once. And I think it was a very fair win. Lauren with 80 kilos. She's uh, she's coached now by John uh, Pament. Is that right? Sorry, John, if I've uh, fucked your name there. Anyway, um, who's doing a very good job. And her lifting is coming on leaps and bounds. Her confidence is there. She moves really well. Fucking wonderful to see. Yeah. That left leg, it is her. And uh, you can see with Lauren's, uh, she's, she's definitely got oceans of capacity left to tap. Uh, nice lift, nice lift. Where the fuck was that, Joe? Fuck. So, there's a lifter, or there's kinds of lifters who can uh, deliver well in training and less on platform. Bruno with 30. I think that was a press out as well, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so if you have got lots of capacity as a lifter um, in your training and you're yet to deliver it on the competition platform, that's a very important uh, phase for you to go in. Beautiful. Look at that. Fucking lovely. Yeah. Uh, Lauren used to rotate a little bit and all the rest of it. That's all gone now. So it may take you a year or so to get the rotation out, but definitely if she makes this 86 as well. Look at that. You can see she's got a rhythm. She's very happy with the bar over her head. She had, um, I think, some shoulder pain and wrist injuries as she got into adapting to doing weightlifting. And now uh, it all looks very comfortable. And, yeah. Yeah. That's there. 90's there. She's got plenty in the tank. Plenty in the tank. So what, you know, Joe hit 270, no, 260 something, 264, I think, on this night. He hit 40, 24, yeah, yeah. I think. You know, and um, and he was short 10, 10 or so kilos, um, 10 or 15 kilos on, on the day in competition. Um, so, you, you, you know, part of the job when you're doing weightlifting is to fucking make those attempts on the day you fucking need them. You don't, you don't want to leave them in the gym. There's Will Bevan. He had a very good. Uh, he had a good uh, Welsh Championships as well, or Welsh Open rather. Got himself a bronze. Yeah, he slashed one eleven, two hundred thirty-five. Yeah, got and then pressed out his forties again. Yeah. You you know, the referee don't give a referee a reason to, to not give you a lift. You know, give him a reason to give you a green light, not a red one. Um, don't fucking bitch and moan. Just fucking make your lifts nice and clean. Respect the fucking bar. Put the fucking bar down. Follow it down. Show the fucking respect for the rules. I do not like people just walking away from fucking bars and being fucking pricks on the platform. See it all the fucking time. People just fucking dumping weight, walking around. Don't fucking like that shit. Keep your fucking mouth shut. Take a fucking bow. Respect the bar. Yeah, a bit of class, innit? Have That's a bit want. of fucking class. Any of my fucking lot swear on the platform, throw shit around, throw fucking tantrums. 
They can be in my fucking office on Monday fucking morning. Johnny fucking Cordy. Alex, you goob. Great lifting all the weekend, though, boys. Uh, <laughs> top work. <laughs> Yeah, we've sort of got to Bruno's Achilles heel, um, strength. which is strength, um, because it's not his power, and it's not his positions, and it's not his overhead stability, and it's not his jerk, or his snatch, but it is his fucking legs. Yeah. Definitely his fucking legs. No, 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 no. You can see Will loses his fucking shoulders from the floor there. Um, so, here's a good case in point, whilst Tom... Delivers us 125. Uh, you can see, like, Will, the bar's very close to Will's head. It makes me very uncomfortable. So, after the competition, and not before, we've changed his uh, the grip of his hands. So, the bar now sits at a, at, at a much more uh, geometrically structured shape. And is not so fucking appalling to see. Plus, I'm sure it feels better. So, Will had a wrist injury and an elbow injury, and I think he changed the position in order to take the stress out of fucking his elbow or something like that. Whatever the, whatever fucking dull thinking he used in Australia. Um, and then he came back. Nice left off, Bryant. Was that 10, was it? Yeah. Um, so, you can see Brian hasn't lifted in uh, like three months. Doesn't make a fucking blame bit of difference. He has, he has no technique to speak of, so how can you lose what you don't have? I think he always lifts like he's never lifted. Correct. So, as we watch Joe Cow with 40. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Messy. Um, right. So, going back to Will, we could have moved his hands beforehand, but what the fuck are you doing? He's had a good comp. He's qualified for Welsh. Change it after. See how long it... Oh, yeah. See how long it's going to take to for him to adapt. Use very light weights. Not too much volume. See how he gets on. You know, 48 hours after changing his grip width, etc. Be very sensible when you're making decisions based upon your lifter's um, career and their technique and things like that. Don't fuck about too much with it. Tom looks like he's an iced donut that's in a cabinet which is fucking sweating. You know when you see icing, sweat? That's what Tom looks like. Sweating icing. There we are. Very pasty, young man. Oh, he's pasty. Oh, he is pasty. And angry. Or is it fangry? Is it fake anger? <laughs> no, I think it's genuine hatred. There's Meg, 81. Lovely. Goes on to make 86. Oh yeah, she had a fucking night of nights. So 60. So you see there with Jordan, um, you've got a left leg, uh, right leg uh, imbalance. And again, that's something that we will look to address over the next period of time. Um, it is a... No, it's a it's a difficult challenge, viewer, when we are in a symmetrical sport with asymmetrical bodies. All right, let me just say that. And the role of the coach is to ensure that you keep them developing and safe whilst choosing the right fucking thing at the right time. Bruno with 50. He said he had another one in him. I didn't believe him. No, I did. Look at that. And then he fucking creams it. He had no right to make this lift. Look at that. Beautiful jerk. His family are pig farmers back in Corsica. <laughs> you know. Stay I mean, he's eaten every one of those fucking pigs, haven't he? Jesus. Look at that. That's fucking beautiful. Very happy to see him. Miss him a lot. Miss him a lot. He was a great presence in the gym. He really was. Used to bring his fucking French attitude in every training session. Heavily disliked everybody he trained with. Just everyone. Just everyone. Yeah. And it wasn't, it was real dislike. <laughs> I can't recall a moment where he came in, disliked everybody, and there was, was their friend after training. Like he carried the, the dislike through after training, during fucking WhatsApp groups. Like he just didn't like anybody. Fucking love that. Yeah, that's Brian nice. doing a uh, clean pull into front squat, or what we would call a clean. So 
75? I hit 75, yeah. Yeah, so 310 night for Jordan. He hit 318 on the on the Welsh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, his neck with 20. All oh, right, okay, so the last, um, one of the last uh, Big Fridays, Nick, um, oh, I put a story out that... Uh, that we were go taking Nick up to 130. Anyway, he missed it four times, something like that. Here's Meg with 86. Great legs on her. Will Power Singlet looks amazing. Boom. Nails the fucking jerk. Beautiful. Look at that. So, two points I need to make. Firstly, Nick missed four attempts at 130. And this training session, he fucking creams it. Right? That's important. And I believe I said on the story that we're going to work for him to get that 130 clean jerk which he did Tom Jolly's getting light headed at 40 um, so anyway the plan was for Nick to go 230 on this night because he hadn't hit 230 in t uh, over two years so very important that you, your lifter goes into the competition confident etc um, and the program was structured so he got what he wanted the week before competition. Um, and I don't... What did he hit on the day? I think he hit... Uh, 95, 130... 130. Five. No, I don't think he hit 35. Did no. he qualify? No, he didn't. No. So I don't think he qualified. But anyway, the point being is that um, the way in which... What you're seeing weeks away from competition... Let's just let Tom get angry here. Uh, what you're seeing weeks away from competition, it's important that you can influence it subtly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. How can you do that? That That's not... Yeah, okay. That's people being individuals, that's great. Don't advocate that shit. Um, influence it via your programming. Give them what they need a week before competition. That's fucking great. How th you, They know they're prepared then. And then what happens during the competition is, is down to their temperament, um, down to the conditions of the day, the warm-up, how affected they are by things, etc. But you know you've, you've got them to the church on time. So here's Nick with uh, 125. Yeah. He does suffer from a, right, a slow right ch uh, arm, doesn't he? Just does, that doesn't lock out that fast. 26. No. And here's the 30. There you go. That's as manly as Nick can actually produce, yeah. I think. Here's Lauren with, uh, was that 104? Nice jerk. Now, my, my other point, let's just watch, uh, I think uh, he does make this 26. That's a better clean, look at that, good timing. There you go, there you go. Little technical uh, tweak, and then he makes the lift. Um, now, before a week before competition, doesn't matter what Brian does, I can assure you, viewer. Uh, a week before competition, you want all your lifters... Putting the bar down, in fact, I like it like three or four weeks before comp. Bringing their feet together, putting the bar down respectfully. Make it look at Brian now. Like, like, that's a fucking no lift in it. You know, I know he's not competing, but that's just fucking shit. Bring your feet together, because on the day, your emotions will be driving you and not your clarity of mind, I can assure you. And if, oh dear, if you're not used to um, completing the lifts as you should do, then you're going to. Um, lift exactly the same way as you're practicing so make sure you practice bringing your feet together know your warm-up etc the fucking video's finished and i'm just fucking waffling on here so wasn't expecting it. that no i would not want to fucking keep on waffling anyway that's uh, the end of the biggest friday thank you again viewer for uh taking 39 minutes and eight seconds out of your life to watch it if you got that far jordan any parting words from you au revoir Great parting words, and we will see you on the next... Oh, the next one will be... I think we're going to do a voiceover of the fucking uh, Welsh Open lifts. Seems about right. That'll be great. All right. Ta-da.